information and data from an SAP to non SAP like Oracle, PeopleSoft. So in these systems happen through the electronic data interchange, which means EDI technology. See here, client one is the SAP system. And client two is the also SAP system. So we will transfer the information or data through the SAP ALE technology. ALE means application link enabling. And here SAP system. And now we want to transfer or exchange the data to the non SAP system. So here we have to use the EDI technology. EDI means electronic data interchange, which is uh, it, it, uh, it's like a mule soft like that. Um, these are called middlewares. Middlewares means it's a software that different applications used to communicate with each other. And yes, this allows data to be exchanged between the different systems without having to convert the data from one format to another format. And in SAP system, IDOCs are stored in a database. Every IDOC has a unique number. After creation of the IDOC, we have a number that is called the IDOC number. While coming to the structure of the IDOCs, uh, in another mean, we can call it as the anatomy of IDOC also. In an SAP, IDOC consists of three parts. Those are control record, data record, and status record. In this control record, the administrative information is there, such as IDOC type. IDOC type means whether it is an invoice or sales order or invoice list like that. And message type. Message type means like so whether it's a what kind of document uh, we have uh, transferred like that and current status. Current status means whether the IDOC has uh, passed or failed or IDOC has created or not to show the status of the IDOC and the sender details and the receiver details. And coming to the data record, it contains all the document data which stored in the groups called segments. Segment means uh, it's like a fields. <clears throat> Segment means it consists of various fields that represents the data in a record. In each IDOC may contain the standard segments and custom segments also. Next, status record. Status record means the information about the various stages like the IDOC has passed or not, whether it is uh, passed or failed. Next, coming to the types of IDOC. There are two types of IDOCs, inbound IDOC and outbound IDOC. Inbound IDOC means the data which get into the SAP system from external source and outbound IDOC means the data sent from our system to the external system. For example, here supplier system to the SAP system. Uh, uh, for example, supplier system, supplier system sends IDOC to our system. It is called inbound, like order confirmation. Outbound means SAP system, our SAP system, and we will send send a document or IDOC to the external external system. It is called purchase order. For example, I am taking it purchase order as an example. Next, IDOC types for segments. There are two types of types. One is basic type and the extension type. Uh, while coming to the uh, segment, uh, before that, what is a segment? Segment means where we can find the fields. For example, we are sending a purchase order copy to supplier. In this copy, we have some fields like material quantity, price, batch of material, like that. So uh, wherever we are saving the fields in SAP, then uh, these segments uh, pick those fields. So in this, there are uh, parent segments are there and tail segments also there. Tail segments means we can customize the 
segments and paired segments are called we cannot customize those segments those are the sap standard segments so here uh, we can say it is a parent segments are called basic type segments and tail segments are called extension type segments next coming to the process code process code means process code means it reads the idoc data and generate the corresponding document for example we want to send an idoc from sap to non sap like oracle with the help of this process code the receiving system will read the idoc and generates the required documents and then we'll coming to the port port means it is a communication channel to which the idocs are sent uh, like uh, uh, we are going to uh, visit any website it has a url address uh, like that uh, here also we have a port address is there this port describes the technical link between the sending and receiving system commonly used ports are trfc port and file port these are the commonly used ports but so many ports are there xli port and all the ports are there but these two parts are the commonly used part trfc part uh, port is used in the ale technology Uh, which means uh, when we transfer the data from one sap system to another system sap system then this port is uh, commonly used uh, trfc means transactional remote function call it is a type of port used when the data being exchanged is a transactional data and this and then this port is used when we are sending the data which has to be sent quickly and when it does not need wait for the reply and also we have to send the standard data in this port uh, this port does not allow to any additions to the data being sent and next the second port is file port which is used in the edi electronic data interchange which is used in the uh, while uh, transferring the data from sap system to non sap system that's it